Tiffany, thank you for joining us. First of all, I'd like to start off by asking you what motivated you to get into the oil and gas industry and what keeps you here? So I have an interesting story for how, uh, how I'm in oil and gas. Um, my, my father was in oil and gas, so I grew up around it my entire life, but the plan was actually for me to go medical. Okay. So I have an undergraduate and a master's degree in medically related sciences. And while I was working towards those degrees, I had a job in the oil industry and it stuck. <laughs> oh, wow. So 20 years later, here I am. <laughs> You're like, no medical, we're keeping this yep, way. We kept with it. And now talk about your current day-to-day -day role. Current day-to-day, -day, um, so I'm the development director at Marathon Oil, which means that I have the uh, reservoir engineering, geosciences, regulatory, portfolio team, and production engineering. And day-to-day, -day, you know, I, I laugh, it's, it's a lot of meetings, <laughs> but I think that comes with the territory. I consider myself a very empowering leader, so I'm doing a lot of scoping and guiding and providing some of that structure and helping to get to some of those decisions while also empowering the team in their area of expertise. Is that part of what keeps you here? Is that chance to be an empowering leader? I, I do love that part of it. Um, you know what keeps me here? I'm, I'm motivated by the win. I uh, don't mind the pace of it, which at times can be trying. I, um, I'm not uncomfortable in the level of uncertainty in the sciences that we have and some of the risks that we have to take and, and most definitely the uh, people development and empowering is I love. Talk to me about being a woman in the industry, you know, uh, it, whether you think that uh, times have changed and where we are there, but also maybe a challenge or a risk or if you can pinpoint any of the times that it was challenging for you with being a woman in the industry. I certainly think times are changing um, women in the oil industry. I think that we, we have a lot more need for and a lot more focus on women in the industry. Um, I think some of that has to do with supply and demand. So as we're putting more focus on STEM programs with young children, we're getting a lot more supply of women in the sciences, which I think is important. As far as any challenges that I've faced, um, you know, I'd say that part of my leadership style can sometimes be um, misperceived. And so sometimes being very collaborative uh, or empowering um, that integrator can be perceived as maybe not chasing that win all the time or maybe not able to get things done as quickly. And it's just that's just categorically false. So it's just a different way of looking at things. Mm -hmm. Very interesting there. Thank you for sharing that with us. Can you talk about a significant milestone in your career? I'm sure there's been many. To be able to get to the point where you are leading now, what has that been like for you? I think first and foremost, if we're talking forks in the road, it was the decision to go get the engineering degree. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I can imagine. So from, the, from the medical sciences. I think uh, second, because I didn't come across my, you know, my path is so very unconventional. I didn't get a lot of the opportunities in the field and on the operational side. So when I had the opportunity a couple years ago to take on the leadership of both the subsurface as well as all of the field operations, I grabbed it and it was a, it was a challenge, but I loved every bit of it and it was a huge milestone for me. And Tiffany, do you have any advice for younger professionals, younger women really trying to find their place in the industry? I do. I'd say um, first and foremost, be patient. Um, your career may not move as fast as you would like, but um, just be patient with it. There's certainly opportunity at each stage. Um, be a sponge. Whatever opportunity you're, you've given, uh, there's learning. Um, absorb everything that you can. And lastly, say yes. Say yes to the opportunities that scare you. What about mentorship? How important do you think that is uh, for any stage of the career, I guess? So mentorship in general, um, be it male or female, mm -hmm. is extremely important. Um, I think, though, from my perspective, um, how I've used mentorship in my life is really where I've needed some of that extra support or the extra you know, idea to bounce off of maybe somebody with a very different perspective, both internal to my company and external. I think also for women, um, another interesting balance, if you say, and, I, and there never really is balance, um, is how to manage both that um, high-paced career as well as if you know your household and if you happen to have small children, I think looking to other women for how they've done that can be very powerful. And will you talk to us about how you feel to be included in this group of women, you know, very deserving to have you in this class of women. Talk to us about that, but then also your thoughts about the importance of a program such as this. So I, I'm very honored, very humbled. Um, I consider it a, a milestone of, of it's certainly at this stage in my career for some of the things that I've set out to achieve. Um, as far as the importance of these programs and those like them, I think very important. I think that we need to take every opportunity we can to celebrate. Absolutely, I agree. Thank you very much for joining us, Tiffany. Congratulations on this honor as well. Thank you. You're very welcome. And for Heart Energy, I'm Jessica Morales.